whoa, that's me, and that's me, and then that's me, and that's me again, and that's me again, and that's, that's a lot of me's. And this is just a computer monitor that I bought like five years ago for less than 200 bucks, yet it is perfectly showing me right there, right here, through this camera. Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from shouldigetit.com, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you guys about how to use your computer monitor or your TV as a monitor for your DSLR camera. So when you're filmmaking, you can see yourself or see that your manual focus is tack sharp. And basically I'm just trying to save you some money if you don't need a portably powered monitor for your filming. Now, of course, if you're gonna be outdoors or you're doing run and gun stuff, you wanna get something like a small HD five or seven inch monitor that you can place on top of your camera or into some sort of rig, put it on a tripod. But in this video, we're gonna talk about how this $8 cable from Fry's allows us to do this. So it is really, really easy. First, what you wanna do is look on the side of your camera and see what type of HDMI port you have. This Canon SL2 right here has an HDMI type C. An easy way to find out the exact size is just to look up your camera on Google and type in HDMI output, and then you could probably find an article or specification that says what type of HDMI this is. Then you just wanna go online to Amazon or to a store like Fry's or Best Buy and look for an HDMI type C to regular HDMI cable. So it's gonna be HDMI type C male to HDMI male as well on this end. And then all you do is plug it into your HDMI port, plug it into your camera and you're set. Now what's really awesome is that you can do this of course with anything that has an HDMI port. So this is my old Dell monitor right here. This is a 1080p monitor. And I have a Samsung TV. So if I wanna film footage of myself on the couch, then I can easily film footage of myself on the couch and also see my face at the same time on that big TV mounted on the wall. Now what's cool is when I'm not recording, what I can do is hit the info button on the camera and then you'll see that I actually have all my different info that's usually displayed on my screen on the TV. Excuse me, miss. I'm on TV. <laughs> And of course, if I wanna film some product reviews and I want a monitor kind of to help me check peak focus, then I can just grab this monitor because it is pretty lightweight and just unplug the power cable and move it wherever I need and we're set. So this is just a little quick trick and tip that I want to share with you guys. I know it's super simple and basic, but it's something that a lot of people don't think about where you can just get a really cheap cable and use your camera like this. So I will have some Amazon links down below for the most basic cables. This is a six foot cable. It is a little bit short, so I'd recommend getting the 10 foot. Those are the ones I have linked. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe. I'll have another video out for you guys at 10 a.m. next Tuesday, and I'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hey, look, it's me again. Hello, me. How are you? Hello, you. How are me? Hi.